Wow, that is so freaking cool. 800 frames a second. That is so freaking awesome. I've gone into black and white mode and then that just unlocked a lot more frame rates. So this is gonna be the hardest shot of the day for sure. I love this camera. So I'm here in Stanley Park and I've got the Freefly Ember 5K and I'm here to film dragonflies. The Freefly Ember is an amazing camera where it shoots 5K up to 600 frames a second and it goes into 4K at 800 frames a second and when you get in like 3K, 2K, the frames just start to increase from there. So I'm going to start at 24 frames a second and I'm going to work my way up to 500, 600, 800, 2000, who knows what I'll be able to get. Uh, the tricky thing with this camera is that it needs a lot of light when I get into the uh, slow motion stuff. So um, out here in the middle of the day in the hot sun, um, it's about 30 degrees today out here and it is hot. We're in prime dragonfly season and uh, there are a lot of dragonflies here. Like I said, I'm going to start at 24 frames a second and <laughs> we'll go from there. Now it's gone. This is so hard. I got one right there and it's gone. I got a shot though. Oh, oh got one really close. Where is it? Punch in. Gone. Okay, I think there's enough of that. I got a couple shots at 24 frames a second. Uh, as you can see, it's like, it happens so fast. It's, it's unbelievable. Let's go to 120 frames a second. 120 frames a second at 5K. And uh, I'm gonna open up my aperture to 5.6. Um, I'm still at ISO 100. Um, and yeah, let's see what uh, 120 frames a second uh, dragonflies flying looks like. That's what uh, 120 frames a second looks like. Um, a lot of cameras today will shoot 120 frames a second, even if it's HD or you get one that says 4K, 120 frames a second. That's kind of what it would look like. So um, in this shot, I'm gonna try next is uh, 5K. I'm gonna go to 240 frames a second, which is uh, 10 times of, uh, 2398. And, um, I'm gonna have to open up my uh, ISO a little bit, all the way up to 400. This camera goes up to 100, 200, and 400 increments. So um, that's the uh, most amount of light I could have. That's one thing I wish this camera did have is a higher ISO range, like a base ISO of um, like 1200 or 800 even would be, uh, I think, a lot better because um, this camera is so light hungry. That, so yeah, it would be just better have that range but we do not, so we will try shooting um, like this. Yeah, so I'm getting some really nice shots at 240 frames a second. I like that look. It's a little more natural than shooting like what you'll see later at like, you know, 2000 frames a second. Um, yeah, just kind of when you crash in, oh, still recording. Oh my God, I've already shot a terabyte of footage. It's not even 10 o'clock in the morning yet. Wow. All right, now let's just get into the fun stuff. Um, I shot 240 frames a second. Um, not many cameras will go over 240 frames a second, in consumer, consumer world. Uh, when you get into the um, really high speed stuff, that gets in like the 500 frames a second, 600 frames a second. I think let's just jump to it. Let's just get into 5K at 600 frames a second and see what dragonflies look like when they fly at 600 frames a second. So um, after 5K, um, I have to drop the resolution down to 4K to be able to shoot even in um, higher speed. So I'm gonna go to 4K and I'm gonna shoot at 800 frames a second and see what we get. Wow, that is so freaking cool. 800 frames a second, that is so freaking awesome. You can really see the details of how they move their wings. That is amazing.
Oh, okay. So that was 800 frames a second. That was so cool. Like the detail and the wings and just the way they move their wings is absolutely incredible. That is just absolutely amazing. I love this camera. I dropped the resolution down to 2K and that just opens up a lot more of the frame rates. And right now I'm at 1,200 frames a second. That's 50 times slow motion. And uh, yeah, we'll see what we can get with this. Um, this is gonna need a lot of light. Um, it's gonna be really challenging. I'm expecting it to be probably pretty dark and the uh, image quality will drop. It'll um, lose some quality having to punch in on the sensor the way it does uh, to be able to get me these frame rates. So um, yeah, let's have a look and see what we can get. That is so slow, that is so cool. I actually got more light than I expected. I think I need to punch in and get a little bit tighter and get more detail. Oh, look how it turns, that's really neat. Okay, so I just got a couple shots at 1,560 frames a second, which is, I think, roughly 65 times slow motion. Um, that was cool. I actually had a dragonfly really close to me. Uh, I punched in, and I'm at 2K, so uh, I don't know what that focal range will end up being, but getting like the fine details of that dragonfly, that was really, really cool. And um, 1,560 frames a second maxes out the frame rates in this resolution. Now my next option is to go into black and white mode, and that just opens up even more frame rates. Um, yeah, let's see what we can get. Okay, so this is gonna be the hardest shot of the day for sure. Uh, I've gone into black and white mode um, and that just unlocked a lot more frame rates. The aspect ratio completely changed as well. And that unlocked uh, 3,563 frames a second in 2K. Um, I got a lot of dragonflies around here now, so I'm gonna stop talking and see if I can get some shots at ultra, ultra slow motion. That is pretty wild, 3,563 frames a second in 2K. I'm not expecting very good image quality out of this, but that is so cool. Well, that's a wrap shooting with the Freefly Ember 5K. I'm pretty excited with some of the shots that I got. Can't wait to check them out on my computer when I get home. Um, overall, I love the camera. Uh, I don't think I'm going to be buying one anytime soon. They are quite expensive and it doesn't quite fit my workflow right now, but I look forward to uh, shooting with uh, Freefly Ember again in the future.